Hey guys, welcome back to Clink. My name is Harry, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a cosmopolitan. A little bit of history on the cosmopolitan for you. Um, it was originally invented in 1975, it was the earliest record of it, and a man by Neil Murray, I believe his name is, um, claims to have invented it um, in, yeah, like I said, 1925. Uh, he added cranberry juice to what was called a kamikaze, um, and the first reaction apparently was, that's very cosmopolitan. And that's the story how it also got its name. Uh, the Cosmopolitan uh, co uh, popularly served in a martini glass, it technically is a martini type of drink. Um, that basically just means it comes in one of these glasses or something very similar. Um, we're going to go straight into it. So, first things first is chilling the glass with a pocket straight in the fridge. Lovely. And it is a shaken cocktail. Now, obviously, martinis can be stirred, but this one is shaken. Um, so we're going to start with 15 mils of freshly squeezed lime juice, in like so, and then we're going to go 15 mils of Cointreau. Now there are variations of this cocktail and its measurements. Um, this is a version, and this is one that you can try. If you want to play around with it, adding a little bit more lime or Cointreau and less vodka, that's something you can do. But I'm going to go with the four ingredients, two measurement rule. So it's two. Uh, so it's 15 mils of Contro, 15 mils of lime. Then we're going to go 45 mils of vodka. It's a pretty hearty drink for you. Going with absolute as always. Like so, lovely. Now a lot of people may disagree, like bartenders and people who work in hospitality might disagree with me on the cranberry juice amount, should I say, the measurement. I put 45 in. Some people say it's a bit too much, but it is mainly, for, they say it's just for colour. After shaking it, you lose a lot of the colour if you haven't got like, much in there, especially nothing over uh, 30 mils. Um, and every time I've made one um, to a strict measurement uh, size with a with not a lot of cranberry juice in it. I've always had it a comment saying, oh I wish there was a bit more cranberry in there. So just out of popular vote from what I've, uh, from a customer point of view, I'm gonna put 45 mils of cranberry juice. If you don't want 45 mils, don't put 45 mils. This is spilling everywhere. This is not easy to pour out of. I think it's supposed to have a thing on top. But oh well I've made a mess. That's that's what I do. Let's clean that up shall we? Cool, so now let's get some ice. Got some in here. More. A little bit more ice for us. And we'll give that a quick shake. Always a good workout. Perfect. Okay, so let's grab our glass up the fridge. Good chill there nicely. And what we're going to do, because we've shaken it and it's going into our martini glass, we want it nice and smooth. So we don't want any pieces of ice that have cracked off while I've been shaking it. So I'm going to double straighten that into our glass. See, that's, that's the kind of colour, oh, that's full. That's the kind of colour I expect when I see a Cosmo. Now that's cloudy for two reasons. Obviously, the lime juice isn't clear. But also, I've shaken it quite a bit, so it comes up with a little, all those bubbles that are still in there. Um, but yeah, now to garnish, I've got an orange here. I'm just gonna take a nice peel of orange with my new peeler. Much better than the last one I had. Yeah. And we're just going to give that a bit of a squeeze over, get those oils going, and just place that in there. And there we have it guys, the Cosmo Monster. Okay, so let's give this a little try. Mmm. 
Mm, wow. Yeah, that's good. That's um, obviously very faint. It's sweet from the cranberry juice. You've got the citrus notes from the, the quantra. I feel like I taste more orange than I do lime, but it is there. The citrus is there. Vodka is obviously quite present because it's 45 mils. Mm. Yeah. Quite a, I mean, it's, it's famously quite a girly drink. Um, been popularized by uh, Sex in the City. But uh, yeah, this is this is quite a quite a sweet but balanced cocktail, and it's only sweet from the cranberry juice. Mm. Yeah, that's very good. I think yeah, very popular, very popular um, with 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 women. I mean, not that's not being sexist or anything. That is just fact from all those I'd have as a bartender. Serving this. Um, the cranberry juice, I, said, I think, like I said, it, they say it's mainly for colour. That brings a lot of sweetness in, so if you did want to dial it back and have a bit more of a citrus note, more through the, the contra and the, and the lime juice, that's fine. Um, but to get it looking like you, you see it in most pictures of bars and stuff and people drinking it, it's probably going to need about 45 mils of, of uh, cranberry juice. But there we go. I hope you enjoyed watching that video, guys. I definitely enjoyed making it and drinking it. It's actually quite nice. I don't actually uh, drink this that often. Um, yeah, so if you do give this a go, or order it at, uh, at bars, take pictures of them. Take pictures of you, uh, you know, drinking with your mates, having a good time. Obviously drinking responsibly. But uh, yeah, take some pictures, send them to us. We've got a Facebook account and an Instagram account. You can tag us in it. Links will be below. And uh, yeah, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Cheers.